In this video, we're gonna go into part four of our custom WordPress search. So part one and part two were kind of standalone videos. Part three, um, you kind of really need to watch part one and two. Part four, you definitely need to watch part three. And I only split this into two separate videos because they get long and um, I want to try to keep them under 20 minutes, but the last one was like 23 minutes or something. So, um, but let's get started on, on and try to make this one as short as possible. All right. So go back and watch part three if you didn't watch it, because you're not going to understand where we're at on this video here. So here's our results that we just got on part on video on part three when we calculate the term position, right? Hope that makes sense to everybody. And if not, I can go into, <laughs> I can explain it maybe in the comments, ask your questions and stuff, and I'll go into um, what we're actually doing here. All right. So now we've calculated the position of the terms in the title. So if we did display these results here, and did a refresh here. So this first one says 189. And basically what that does is it says, this title is does have the um, results and page wall unit does exist in this. So it's gonna go through and it's gonna calculate this result, right? And then 203 and then so this is a higher number because wall unit comes at the first of what we searched for. Now, if we did a search for the term page, now we have front page slider is gonna be 98. Page one wall unit is 104. It's a higher number because the word page comes before anything else. And in this one, page is the second word. And so wall unit page two, this one's even a lower number than the first one because page is way over here. And again, 89 is even lower because page is way over here. And then 91 is a little bit closer than the one above it here. I hope that makes sense. Am I explaining that correctly or e easy enough to understand? So what we want to do now is we want to um, take these results and order them. But first, we need to look at something. Wall unit. If we do a search for wall unit, okay? Now, what happens is, is sometimes you have numbers that come out that are the same, like this one here. 97 and 97, so that's the one, two, three, three third and fourth from the bottom. So one, two, three, right here. So these, just a wall, just a unit. Those happen to be the same calculation because we're searching for wall and we're searching for unit. And both of those have wall and unit in the same place on those, on those results. They're two different words, so, but they're in the same position of the title. Now we could say, okay, if, it's, if wall's before unit, then it gets a better result than than unit does, um, and we could build that, but we're not going to go into that. But for me, I can say, okay, wall and unit are, you know, it's going to be random that you're going to have two words being searched that are both four characters each or five characters or six characters. Um, I just happened to use wall and unit, two four letter words that, um, that return like this. We could do a search for wall and product and then it would be a four letter word and a seven letter word. But we're doing a search for wall unit. And I'm glad we did that because I wanna show you these two right here are equal. And what's gonna happen is in our code over here, we're going to build a new array to put all the results in, okay? So right above our for each here, we're gonna say new array and that's gonna be an array. And so 
at the this right here, right above the end of the for each, we're going to add this query, this result, to this new array. So we're going to say sign new array is equal to, and we want the value of that result. So new array is equal to dollar sign v, and what that does is it puts the post title, post stat, uh, post title, post content, post status post type, all that stuff into, um, from this value here into this array. Now, what happens is, is now we just have an array that matches the query. And what we want to do is we want to put in calculate, right? And so what that does is it adds an array key of the calculate. So this first key here, the first result here, would have a key of 189. The second one would have a key of 203. The third one would have a key of 197. And so now we're gonna get rid of this. Or no, we can leave it in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the query down here to this new array. Okay. Now, if you look right here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 results. Now, if we do a search for wall unit, it's going to show our new array. But now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 results. And the reason that is, is because our new array has lost a, a couple of values here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because either wall and unit didn't result, didn't come into those, or the, um, the, the numbers are duplicated here. So we need to fix that issue. So what we're going to do is now we're going to build to say new key, is equal to dollar sign calculate dot, and then we're gonna open two single quotes. We're gonna put a dot here, and then another dot, and then the value, I mean the key here. So key, I'm sorry, that's not right. The value ID of the post. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna say, each calculate, um, the new key is equal to calculate, which is the number, which is this number here, 189. And then it's going to put a dot and then the ID of that post. So instead of printing out calculate, let's print out the new key. Okay. And then we're going to do a search. So now our results say 189.1256, 203.1258, 197.1260. So this is the ID of each one of these results. So page one wall unit. So let's go to pages and page one wall unit. If we open that up. So page one wall unit is post equals 1256. So if we go back over here, 189.1256. So basically we're making each individual term here or each individual result unique. So 97.1270, 97.1272. So now it's going to return one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It will return each one of these whenever we use this new key inside of this new array, all right? So new key. So the new array equals a new key and the value. So now if we do wall unit, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 results returned. So we didn't lose any in this calculation where if we hadn't added this ID after the calculation, we would have lost a few because of the, um, the key, all right? So here's we 197 
and 197, we would have lost that one. 203 and 203, we would have lost that one. And 97 and 97. So we we when the calculation didn't have this ID after it, we lost a few. But now that it has the ID, we didn't. All right. So now we have that new key, and now we need to order by these values. So there's k sort, and we can do the new array because that's what we're using here to show these results. Now, k sort is going to sort it by the smallest number first, and I'll show you what that does. So now if we go back here and hit search our site, and we should, I guess we leave that calculation alone there, but basically what it does is it's now going to return the lowest number first. So it would return 97, yeah, is that the lowest? Yeah, it would return 97 first, um, and then 97, this 97, and then 98, and then so forth and so forth. And that's exactly backwards from what we want. So we're gonna use KR sort, which sorts it in reverse order. And so let's do, let's print out the key here. We're gonna do a for each. I wanna show you the key of each one. So for each, new array as new array key, new array value. I just wanna print out each print dollar sign new key and break each one. So we put each one on a new line, we'll turn this one off. I wanna show you that each one now will be in the order that we want, all right? So if we do a new search, boom. All right, so now we have the highest number at the top, 203, 203, 199, 197, 197, and so forth and so forth. And if we, again, if we take out this R and just do a K sort, it's gonna do the actual opposite, 97, 97, 98, 104, 185, 189, and so on and so on. So we want KR sort, because we want these in reverse order. We want the highest one at the top. So now we have the results that we want. Wall unit product, wall unit page two, a wall unit, my wall unit, my wall unit, page one wall unit, a second wall unit. So as we go down farther and farther, it's going to, um, the wall unit term is going to be farther to the right in the title until we get down to this one where wall is not even part of the title, but unit is. So even though, cause we did over here on the code, we did, um, we're up here somewhere, it's, we did or, now we're getting anything that is unit or anything that is wall. Now, if we change this to and, and then did another search, we're getting a lot less results because we're saying wall unit, wall unit, a wall unit, the title has to have both wall and unit in it where it won't return. But I like to use and or because sometimes people get very specific of what they search and we wanna make sure that we give them some results, okay? So we're gonna take this out here. We don't need that anymore. And so this is going to sort in reverse, what I, reverse is what I call it, I guess, or it's um, descending. Is that what it is? Yeah, ascending would be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Descending, DSC, would be um, in the reverse order, I think. Is that right? So now we have our results showing the way we want. We do a search for wall unit. Now we have wall unit product, wall unit page, and so forth and so forth. Again, we could continue to refine this algorithm to do more and more and more, but this is a basic search. This is better than what WordPress would return uh, by default. So again, hope you like this video. 
Uh, let me know if I need to expand on it anymore. And uh, let me know in the comments if I need to expand on it or continue on with building the algorithm of the search. Um, this has always worked pretty well for us, even in product search. Um, we do kind of sometimes use it where you can say wall plus unit um, and make it the and so that both of those terms are in the title. Um, you can also make it where you can search through the content of the post. But once you do that, the content, and I don't want to really get into this too much, the content in the database is not indexed because it's a, um, a large text or long text, whatever, uh, field column in the database. And searching through all that content to find specific words is makes the database or the search really slow. Now, you can do um, certain categories or tags, taxonomies, and stuff like that, but um, I can expand on that if I need to, but this is basically when someone's searching for a product or a page or a post, hopefully what they're searching for is going to be part of the title. Um, if not, then you can go into tags and stuff like that. So again, remember to subscribe, like this video, watch the third one if you didn't, because it kind of bleeds over into this one here. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.